Hi everyone, so today I'm doing my May favorites. I'm finally not like four months late. Like, oh, I'm so excited. Holy crap, it is summer. And um, really quickly, I'm in a long sleeve and a scarf. One, because it's very mucky outside and I just like, I don't like that feeling on my skin. And second, it's kind of cold out like in Florida right now. First of all, it just storms, so yeah. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm kind of like this, not the summer feel, but it's cute. It's like has summer colors, yeah, fun, right? Okay. Um, and I got out of school on Wednesday. I was Instagramming photos of my party I had, and we were all in the pool, and it was just really, really fun, and I'm really sad because sixth grade went by so flopping bad. Like, I was talking to my friends, and they were all, oh my God, it's going so fast. Like, I, cr I almost cried, like, I almost cried. I was so, so sad, and I can't wait for seventh grade to make fun of sixth grade. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, or am I? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> and I'm just really excited because seventh grade, just, I'm very excited, and that year went by so fast, and I'm going to miss all my friends so freaking much. Like, there's so much drama that happened that year. There's so much love and other things. Fun. Okay, so oh, and I'm spending my summer with my dad, and I'm really, I'm really excited because um, we have a house in the Hamptons, and I'm gonna go back to the camp. So shout out to Lucia, both the Olivias, and Caroline. I miss you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you this summer. Um, and I'm going to my favorite camp. So yeah, I better be dad. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start out with my shades. So, shout out to Sierra who gave me these. Sierra, what is in my wig video? So, she gave me these. She got them in Italy um, for like five bucks. You know, when they're like at the market, she said they go, five dollar, five dollar. Yeah, that's what she said. Okay. So, they just look like this. They have gold rims and they're smaller than the normal ones, so they fit my face and I don't look like, you know, like a bug. So, I really like those. I only have one fashion favorite which are these shoes. I Instagrammed many pictures of these. They're just like um, shoes and they're really cute. What what are the shoes called? Crap, I forgot. Oh, man, uh, but they're just like the dazzle and like they have sequins. I got these at Kmart for about $15. Okay, so to remove my makeup, I have been very lazy on skincare lately. It's really sad because now I should probably be getting into it, but I'm not. Anyway. So I've just been using the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Towelette, uh, or cleaning towelette, yeah. And I got a big, huge pack of these at um, Costco. I think they were like $25, but you got like eight of these, and then you got like four um, like half sizes for traveling. So I thought that was a really good deal, and we did the calculation and stuff like that. It was a steal. So I got like half of them free. Um, Moving on to makeup and uh, face products. So, two, I rediscovered two e.l.f. products. Um, I rediscovered the e.l.f. High, High Definition Powder and as well as the e.l.f. Clarifying Press Powder. I really love both of these. Um, I don't say, I wouldn't say they're like the world's best, but they do the job. So this one, uh, I just use this to set all my makeup and I mostly use it in my eye area because I tend to get like oily lids but like my face is dry I'm, I'm weird and then as well as I use this for like um extra highlight when I'm doing like a smoky eye and I don't want to like do my foundation like does that make sense I'll put a lot of powder so I could just swoop it away and this I just use this on top of it to give my color back because it gets it gives a white cast so I like that too um for bronzer I have re I have discovered the NYC smooth skin bronzer it's just a really nice matte bronzer. It's from the drugstore. It's super cheap and it's matte, which is amazing because you can't really find matte bronzers at the drugstore. So I like that one. And this is in Sunny. It's the only shade they make though. I have one blush and one highlighter. Holy crap. Like you guys are going to be like, you're 12, Tyler. You don't need to wear that. But it actually looks really like pretty and natural. It's cool. And this is a purple blush from MAC. And this is Full of Love from the Tread Cheek Collection. It's a light, like, lilac lavender pink. I sound so professional when I say that, don't I? Yeah, I do. Um, and it's like a lilac pink, and it's just lilac purple, sorry. But it has a, I'm not in the center. There I am. 
it has like a pink undertone to it, so it's it's wearable. So this is the color, and it ha it is a what finish are you? You're a frost, but it's really really pretty. Like, do you see that? I've went into school, and you can't really tell the difference. It just looks like that undertone of reflex purple. It's just really pretty. Um, next, we're going to move on to lip products. Holy crap, I have discovered the best things in the world. One is on my lips now, the OCC Lip Tars. Where have I been, guys? Like, you don't tell me about these things. What are your holy grail? Like, I need these. I will die without them products. Believe me. Let me know in the comments. But, like, what the crap? Like, OCC actually sent these to me, so that's a disclaimer. They actually sent me 21 of them. So if you guys want to see all of them that they sent me, just let me know, you know, where to reach me in the comments. Okay, so these are my favorites, like, as of right now. Again, that same purple thing, like, it's amazing. Oh, the, the match. I'm so, like, happy right now. Oh, Dad, I want to tell you why I'm so happy in this video. Okay, call me. But... They, they're an exact match. I didn't notice that. That's so cool. Okay. I never realized that. But this is in Digitalist. I think so. Um, basically what a lip tar is, it's a very, very... Ooh, hair. Don't ask me where that came from. A uh, very, very opaque lip gloss. And you only need legit... I've seen, I've seen people use a pea size amount. Whoa. Like, I don't even use, like... I use like a freckle size, like legit a freckle, like like that big, like legit that big, and it go it goes all my lips. Um, this one is one of my favorites, and this one is the one I have on my lips right now. This is beta. What you see is definitely what you get. Um, and I know they changed the packaging. It's now matte and it has a squeezy tube. Because the same thing, people were thinking with the like that slanted kind of lip gloss plastic thing, you just shove it on your lips. Whoa, no, like and it was. If you do use too much, they can bleed. They haven't bled on me because I haven't used a lot. But I'm pretty sure they would like bleed if you use a lot. You know what I mean. And they're very wet consistency. They're not sticky at all because um, it's so concentrated. You know what I mean? Like they don't have any actual gloss. They dry to a satin finish as well. So this is Divine. And this is like, I wear this to school a lot. But like I'll tone it down and I put like an actual gloss on top to sheer it out. But that's really pretty. I love it. I have discovered these Mirabella lipsticks, and they're amazing. So I have two bright, fun colors here. One, <coughs> sorry, in Lola, and one in Missed Opportunity. This is Missed Opportunity. It's a reddish-orange color. It's, like, too pretty. I love it. And then the Lola is a bright, fuchsia, purpley color. So this is the, oh, ah, eh. shoot. Okay, so that is the Lola and that is the other one, the Missed Opportunity. That's such a cute name. And then for gloss, I have been like dedicated, like in love with this Dazzle Glass. It's called Rags to Riches. It's so gorgeous. It's this pink with like gold and like, like blue and pink and I see a lot of like I see purple pink and it's like a pink undertone gloss so it's basically clear the little pink to it and it has all of these glitters but you can't feel them in the MAC Dazzle glasses which I really like okay so now we're going to move on to eyes I have two three eyeliners to show you two of the elf cream blood a uh, cream eyeliners that I rediscovered and I absolutely love. I use these as a base and an eyeliner. This one I use more so an eyeliner, but oh crap. This one is in punk purple. Really nice vibrant purple. The only thing I don't like about the more vibrant ones, oh, that is so gorgeous. It is like the prettiest red robin. That is what I love about flopping my backyard in Florida. You can be under here and yeah, I have all these bushes. It's not like a forest. There's actually like a school behind me and like a trailer park over there. I don't even know. Um, and like, it's just like when you look up in the screen, you see like trees and like, I've seen like blue jays. I've se I see this really pretty red robin. I saw this like 
bright red robin. Like, it was really pretty. And I took lots of pictures of it and then deleted the pictures. How amazing that. It's just, I don't know, it's really nice. Okay, I'm going to stop talking on nature. Like, okay. But the only thing with these, you have to do, like, sometimes you have to do double layers. Or if you get, if you get, like, the right brush and everything, you can definitely get away with one layer. Um, and then I, this is like an all-time favorite. This is Copper. I believe they changed the name, but I've definitely done a dent in that. And some of them come dry, some of them come wet. I prefer, I prefer the dry one. This is dry and that one's wet. Um, one, because they come out more opaque and they're easier to work with. So, yeah. Crap! I didn't, I never did the highlighter! Whoa, it was in my lap the whole time and I couldn't see it because I'm wearing pajama bottoms. Um, but yeah. Um, oh crap, I'll do it right now. This is my all-time favorite highlighter I'm wearing right now. I wear it, I wear it all the time. This is the highlighter I wear to school because I don't like wearing, I don't like wearing blush. I wear bronzer and highlight to school because one, it, I just like the way it looks and two, like blush on me can look like weird sometimes. Like I'm very fair right now. Like it's also the lighting, but I'm very fair. Um, I have two weeks before I go to New York. So I'm like, beach, 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 beach. And we're going to see, ooh, shout out, ooh, sorry. Oh my God, it looks so weird in this video. Shout out to Denali. I will have his fan page in the description. Denali is someone I met in New York, actually at Sloan Kettering Hospital. I do a lot of my treatments there as well when I'm in New York. Um, and, oh, what was the thing? I actually met him there and he was, I believe he was nine when he was diagnosed. Um, but he had pancreatic cancer and he's, really in need of all your prayers. So I will have um, a link to his fan page. His mom does is an incredible, incredible cook, first of all. Um, and second, they are so, so, so sweet. And Denali has a brother and two other sisters. And um, that brings me back to the beach. Sorry, no, I got all serious. Brings me back to the beach. We're going to go see him soon. And his family lives um, in Miami and uh, I don't live near there, so yeah. But anyway, this is a really pretty highlighter. Um, it's in Lightscape, and it's almost like a translucent, but it has like iridescence of like a pinky um, blue color. It's right there. But it's really pretty, and I love that. Okay, now going on to tools, like brushes and stuff. Uh, floor setter. But the first thing is an eyelash curler, and this is my... Um, Forever 21 eyelash curler. Obviously, it's not the best eyelash curler. It was about five dollars, but it's bedazzled. I'm like, oh my god, I need that, right? Then I need everything. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not just kidding. Maybe I'm kidding, but maybe I'm not. I don't know. You'll see. I don't know. Will you ever see? I don't know. Dang it! I hate when I do that. Okay. So it's bedazzled, and I like it because you don't have to stick your fingers in there, and like, cause like I use mine with my hand. Because, like, I feel I can't, like, scrunch my eyelashes enough. No, I'm just kidding. But I do use it with a hand because I feel like I have more control over them just like that. But um, the band can fall out sometimes, which I guess is bad. And then it's really squishy, which I like because, like, I, you can't have a hard eyelash curl, you know what I mean? Okay, so I have a couple brushes from OCC that they sent me um, to try out. And I sometimes, I don't even review it. Like, I don't review, like, other companies' things if they're not that good. I'll just send them back and stuff. Um, but, crap. If you have OCC brushes, can you please, like, tell everyone how incredible they are? Like, legit. Just tell them, please. Um, but they are so soft. Um, the first one I love, I use this for my eyeliner and my eyebrows. I used it for my eyebrows today. Um, and it, they don't have names, but it's just an angled eyeliner brush. And it's really soft. It's a little bit too flimsy sometimes, which I don't like. It's very flimsy, actually. But sometimes I do like, so um, it just, just depends on your preference. But this one I love for an all-over wash. These, This one sheds. I have to tell you, this one sheds, but the rest of them don't. Like, this is the only one that sheds. But it only, I've washed it, and after I wash it, it doesn't shed anymore, so... Um, this one is just like very flat and just like all over. I use it for an all over wash of color and a brow bone highlight. Um, so yeah. And then I have this crease brush, which at first I wasn't a fan of because I didn't know really how to use it. I was kind of using it as a blending brush and I don't really like it for that. I like it for placing a kind of like a cut crease. Whoa, did you see my eyes just now? They're like crossed. Crazy. Crazy. 
where we have a trailer park over there. Um, but yeah, this one is just kind of like the Mac 217, but a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, I really love that. And then this thing. I don't know what the heck I was supposed to do these days. I was like, alright, this is a weird brush. I kind of like threw it. Ow. I kind of like threw it like in the back of my vanity. I was like, okay, I'm not going to really use this. But like, I watched an old video of Encores. Like legit, I don't know why I did this. Because like, it was just a coinkin... Sorry, I'm itching my foot. It was like just a coinkin ink. And she brought out the old one, like the 2009 one. Go watch it. It's really amazing. <laughs> Um, he pulled out paddle brushes, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have one of that. Like, I have one of those. And he used it for powder. And I was like, well, that was kind of obvious, Sally. Don't you think you should have done that? Like, I, I sound so stupid right now, but I swear I'm not. Um, but I just thought it was weird. But I like it for setting my under eye concealer and for bronzer. I use this more for bronzer than powder. Like, I'll just go right there and stuff, but yeah. Yeah. And then from It Cosmetics, holy crap, you need this brush. It's amazing. I use it for powder. I was going to use it for liquid foundation, but it's a little too big, and the liquid foundation would sink in it too much. So this is from It Cosmetics, and it's buffer brush. I talk really fast. Whoa. That one just came and said hi. Okay, and this is a Mirabella small crease brush. I love this. I used it today to just do a little bit of crease work. And it just looks like this. I don't like the handles on these because... One, they're like flat, which I don't know, I don't, I'm just not used to it, I guess. And then they have like, the handle is bigger than the brush, which I don't think that's necessary. Um, and it's, I don't know, it's just weird. But I like the brush, which is all that matters. Um, and then the last thing is my e.l.f. small smudger brush. I've been using this to put on my lip tars because I don't like lip brushes. Like, they're just too small. I think this one's perfect. It looks really messed up right now because my dog chewed it. Right after I did this, because I, I was outside and he came outside and then he started chewing on it. So it's really gross right now, but it's only three dollars. I'll go buy like probably five more. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'll buy like one more. Um, but it's just a really small smudge brush. But it's synthetic bristles, so it's like yeah, I just like it. See, she bit it. But it's just the perfect size. Like you can get precise. Obviously, yours would be like closer up and stuff, but like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, nail polish. I have two. Oh, crap. I have two nail polishes from you, for you guys. The both from OCC. I love the packaging. Amazing. Um, so the first one is the uh, Flatline Top Coat. This makes your nail polish in matte. Like matte. It's so cool. Um, I tried a China Glaze one, didn't really work. Like, it was like a glossy matte, it was weird. But this one is matte, and I posted a picture on Instagram of uh, my mom's nails. We did them black matte and then the top coat with shiny top coat. It looks so legit, but like my mom, she's like older, and she's like, I don't really like this. I don't, I don't look like I look like, I'm like, I'm like, mom, it's cool. She's like, whatever. But I think it's really cool. I put this on black nail polish. Amazing. And then you guys all asked me with the, oh my gosh, your matching brush hurt. You guys all asked me about this in my nail polish collection video and then another video I had this on. This is OCC's Pool Boy. It's so opaquely, like it's so opaque, like holy crap. And the brush is like the perfect size. It's like OPI and China Glaze mixed together. It's legit the perfect size. Like do you see this? So I love those two nail polishes. So for that, okay, so that's all my beauty favorites. Um, for food favorites, I have been obsessed with baked potatoes, like holy crap. I buy the big bag at Costco, and then um, I microwave them for about seven minutes, and I put a lot of butter and a lot of salt on them and eat them. So I've been loving that. And this one, look at that, what is that? Like, uh-huh. I, this one was like the odd one out in the thing. We're not going to eat it because we don't know what that is. It looks like another potato. Like, legit, it's like in it. Like, do you see that? But, it, like, it's a potato. But it's like a little baby. Okay, that's really weird. We're going to put that down now. <coughs> and then for song favorites, I have to do a song favorites. 
Um, it has been Payphone by Maroon 5. Oh, God. That song's so amazing. Oh, just clear things up. I'm not going out with Derek anymore, so we'll just calm the down. Okay. Yeah. Uh, payphone for sure. Like, holy crap. Such a good melody and beat and, like, concept. And, oh my god, I love the rap. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and then, Come On Get Higher by... Nate, wait, what is it? Matt Nathan? I met him actually at Sloan Kettering in New York. Like, they have like celebrities come and stuff. I actually met him a couple years ago and it was really cool. And I have his autograph picture. I don't know where it is. I think it's still in New York. Maybe it's still in New York. Um, but I had an autograph picture of him and it, he was really sweet and really nice. And he sang that and I was like, I know that song! And I was like, I don't know how old I was. But anyway. I've been loving that song because I saw it in someone's favorites, Bethany's favorites. I saw it in Bethany's favorites, um, Mac Mario 7. <clears throat> and I was like, I remember this song. So that has definitely been a favorite, even though it's just today. I've been loving that. Oh, well, whatever. Um, writing Solo from Jason Derulo. That's like my all-time favorite song. Um, Part of Me by Katy Perry. Ah, uh, and, um... Starships by Nicki Minaj. And that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Wait, let me look. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I like it like that. Oh, my God, I love that song. I like it like that. Yeah, when the down, chill out with the ready, yeah, come on. Um, you Look Hot has been a favorite. Uh, I said, part of me. Call Me Baby, not Call Me Maybe, Call Me Baby. I don't like Call Me Maybe. Call Me Baby by um, Cimarelli and Maddie B. So cute. Um, don't Wanna Go Home by Jason Derulo. Pretty Rock by Carrie Hilton. Okay. That is my favorite, oh, and my phone, because I love my phone. All you guys ask me what kind of phone this is. This is a Samsung Galaxy um, S, and that's Sierra, my phone. Look at how cute she is. Wait, does it say to school? No, good. Um, it, she's just so cute. Look at her. So she's on my phone cover. I got this phone cover for $3 off of eBay, and the screen protector is actually a mirror, so you can see yourself right there. The screen protector is actually a mirror. I just got that off of eBay, too. It was like two dollars for like five of them so we all share that um so yeah it's really big i it i like it it's that it's not too big i got it for watching videos and the camera okay I'm gonna f confess and it's just an amazing phone i really 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 like it and the the touch screen isn't so small it's just amazing um yeah i keep going on and on with my favorites but apps have been zedge you can get that at the play store um, Ubu has been one I've been talking about. Alright, my camera just shut off, so if it's at like a weird angle, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, Instagram, you need to follow me. I'm not sure I have like 400 pictures. Bro, my, my stepdad told me that I had like 6 million texts. I was like, what? It's not possible. Okay, maybe it is. I'm like always on my phone. I'm obsessed with my phone. Because like, I like to keep in touch with my friends. Like, my friends are my life. Anyway, that was my favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I know it was really, 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 really long. But I just love you guys. And I talk a lot. So, love in the hood, bro. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mwah.